We race. Great start from Tom Lugay, who puts the 1-1-0 Tony Kart in the middle of the circuit. But he's got the Bureau Arts breathing down his neck together with a million dinner in the Soddy Kart. They go through turns one, two, and three without problem for the first time. Three wide down the hill into turn four. Tom Lugay has just got the race lead from Emilian Denner. So it's Denner from the second row of the grid who just follows the pole seater through. That is not what Tom would have wanted. The French drivers go first and second, but Denner for the CPB Sports Soddy Kart team. Remember, they are the reigning champions with Santa Ben Wallstein. They go down the back straight for the first time into the hotel hairpin. They blast across the line. Tom in position one. Denner in P2. What? Il Napolitano. That's Palomba in third place. Right behind him is Bertuca. The other driver to watch out for is in position five. His name, Alex Marigliano. He's driving the Marinello. Remember, they finished on the podium with David Trevelov on the very last lap in round one as Denner goes down the inside. Palomba does not need to be asked twice. He makes contact. Palomba and Denner are out. Oh no, what a disaster for Il Napolitano and Denna. Contact further back in the pack as well. We had a clean start, but now we've lost two of the front runners. Ricardo Longhi's also out. That's Longhi at the top of the right of your screen. Longhi, the former WSK Euro Series champion, is out. Tommy's gone. That has advantaged the Frenchman, the pole sitter, big time. Aminian Denner and Giuseppe Palomba are both out. Well, the move was on in the early stages of the race. Two of the toughest drivers in World KZ2. The yellow flag is still flying. Neither of them were going to give. And they both came together in spectacular fashion. Denner has stepped out of his cart. He walks back to the pits. There he is to the right of your screen. It's a long walk for the Frenchman. The CPB Sports Soddy Kart driver is out. Bertuca into position two. There is Marigliano. We told you to watch out for the Sicilian. SRP Marinello of Alex Marigliano. Position three for the driver who won the WSK Final Cup to finish 2022. He won the pre-final at Lonato and now he's looking to win the final here this afternoon. Christian Caribo Bertuca, the championship league. Deal the inside. Oh, wow. He closes the door on the Sicilian. Look who's come to fight. That is the remaining, the reigning champion. I should say the reigning champion, Senna. Sends it down the inside. Van Wolstein up into P3. Alex Marigliano, one of the raciest drivers. He's got some spark about him. Half a chance, just like that. And he'll dive down the inside of the reigning champion. Senna closes the door. Watch fast Freddy around the outside. But it didn't work for him. He runs into the back. Sorry, Thomas Humberg runs into the back of the Englishman. A messy start for the KZ2 final. But Tom, all the while, is pulling away. The Frenchman, 1-1-0 in the Tony Kart. The gap is 0.4 of a second to Christian Bertuka, the championship leader. As now we finally settle into something of a rhythm. Tom Luye from pole position. The gap, 0.54 of a second. As they race down the fastest part of the circuit, almost touching 150 k's an hour. Marigliano gathers himself back up. He's in position four. Trying to chase down and pass the Soddy Cart once again. Senna in P3. Christian, second place. Tom in the Tony Cart leads. Kim Nakamura Berta, incidentally, has had an issue off screen. The Japanese Prema driver, the former world champion, is down in 32nd position. But he's just done a 46-4, which is three tenths of a second faster than the drivers on your screen who lead the race. The gap 0.49 of a second between the Frenchman and the Italian here at Franciacorta. Wow, let's take a breath. Contact between Palomba, who has continued on, incidentally. Denner is out. Jenna Civigo has also retired. Lorenzo Travisanuto, the WSK Supermaster Series champion in OK with Ward Racing from 2016. He's out, as is the Dutchman Flint Schurting. Palomba has managed to keep going. Incredibly, Il Napolitano is in 11th place. 
and keeps his championship hopes alive, trying to salvage some points here this afternoon. The gap, 0.4 of a second between Tom and Christian Sinner in third. Maradiano has just dropped off the Dutchman for the moment. And then Slater, who had a Frenchman with nowhere to go. Slater was trying to capitalise out of the hairpin where they're approaching now. Cannot really apportion blame to anybody. Slater was trying to go past, and Thomas simply had an Englishman in front of him. They made contact, but they have continued on. Freddie in five, Thomas in six, and it's Chalenta, Piccini, Viganò, Marek Scriven on the podium in the WSK Final Cup. Here's the check in position 10, Palomba Facile, Noblo, Spiegel, and the Jamaican Alex Powell for the Premier Racing Team in position 15. 0.58 of a second now. Tom Luyer, the Vortex-powered Tony Kart. Let's not forget the engine battle as well. TM, Vitti Racing for Christian. And of course, the factory tune Vortex on the Tony Kart Racer 401 of the Frenchman down into the hairpin, down through the gearbox. Here is Marigliano. We'll have another crack at the reigning champion, Senna Van Wallstein, who missed the first round of the championship. Pat Lonato two weeks ago still racing in absolute agony with a dislocated shoulder, but he's still on the podium in position three. Marigliano and then Slater, who was on the podium in second place after taking pole position in his first ever KZ2 race at Lonato in the Champions Cup. He's in P5 at the moment. The field spread out. Carts littered around the circuit. Long is out as is the driver from Prokart, Wackersdorf Raceland, the German, Valentino Fritsch. Down the back straight, the gap is out to 0.7 of a second. Kim Nakamura-Berta in position 24 continues to light up the timing screens. He's just got by Slavik Kudyatin, Dominic Reuters, Daniel Stell and Moritz Hebner. And now he's behind the Prussian, Andrea Dalle. 0.9 of, of a second now between Tom and Christian. Victory in the WSK Champions Cup for Bertulka. Victory in round one of the WSK Supermaster Series for the Italian. But unless he can do something spectacular in the remaining third of the final here this afternoon, it'll be the runner-up position as we race at Francia Corta for the very first time down into La Foresteria, accelerates, fourth, fifth, and sixth gear right under the bridge. Up into turn one, the gap, 0.935, it stays the same. Again, King Nakamura Berta, stuck in 23rd position, but he's done another purple sector. He's behind the Sri Lanka now, Yevon David, who was running in the top three in the heats when he was going, but had a couple of incidents which has put the young Asian driver way down the field. Yevon David from Colombo in Sri Lanka, south of the subcontinent, the island nation at the top of the Indian Ocean. Yevon David behind the Brescian, Andrea Dale, Matteo Zanki and Pedro Hilbrand, the 2016 world champion, which I believe he's down in 19th place. They come across the line, the gap, 0.93 of a second, point, a 1.2. Bertulka is losing touch with the race leader. There is Senna Van Wallstein. Slater into four because Alex Marigliano joins the long list of retirements as well. The Sicilian is out. Slater now a step off the podium behind him, Francesco Cialenta. And Senna definitely trying to ruin the perfect start to the season for Christian Il Cannibal testing in Formula 4 and Formula 3 over the winter break, over Christmas, with an eye to joining us for the 10th season of the world's most competitive junior motor racing series. The 10th anniversary year of the Italian F4 Championship as ever presented by WSK Promotion for the moment. He's concentrating on the WSK Supermaster Series and he's concentrating on keeping the reigning champion, Senna Van Wallstein, behind. That's Slater coming for the both of them. Dives down the inside into turn four. Christian closes the door. The gap is 1.4 seconds. Tom from pole position for the Tony Kart Racing Team is pulling away. Slater almost already on the back of Senna. Watch diving down the hill. Not close enough. 
out of turns 10, 11, and into the hotel hairpin. Looks over his shoulder once, looks over his shoulder twice. <laughs> and Senna just follows the Italian, the Englishman, fast for an EP4. The Birrell Art to fight with the Sonny Cut imminently. The Tony Cut surely on his way to victory. Senna simply says, move on over. And Christian taps him in the back. He's not happy with that. Senna waves, Christian does not care. Watch Slater on the outside of his teammate. Behind him, Francesco Gementa. It is on for the final steps of the podium. Tom is gone. Mouillet in the tourney cut. The Frenchman on his way to victory here on lap 14 of 16. The KZ2 final for the first time at Francia Corta. They go down the back straight 147, 148 Ks an hour now. Senna van Walstein punches a hole in the air. But Christian Bertuka and the reigning champion back into P2. Tementa, watch him on the back of Fast Freddy. Third ever KZ2 race for the former junior world champion. He's a second Viral Art, he's a step off the podium. Has to defend from Talenta, who just sends it down the inside of turn four. Eccellente Francesco Talenta. Super pass from the Italian. Just lined up Freddy and sent it. Olevinko Ole Capotto per Francesco Talenta. That was a sensational pass. He was either going to pass him or end up in the wall. Santa Van Wallstein down through the gearbox. Last lap of the race. Le Dunia Tour for Tom. Senna in second. Bertuka, Chalenta. And Freddie Slater. Two point three seconds for Tom Luye, equal fastest qualifier with King Nakamura Berta on Friday. But then put it all together in the heats and in the pre-final. Biralat have dominated the start of KZ2 for 2023. Not today. The green team are back. Tom accelerates into the hotel hairpin for the final time down through the gearbox. The green team back on top. Tom Luye for the Tony Card Racing Team wins here at Franca Corta. What a victory from Tom. Across the line, the reigning champion, Senna Van Wallstein, and the championship leader, Christian Bertuka, in P3. Senna, remember, coming from grid 12, Chalenta just misses the podium after starting 15th on the grid. That was a stunning drive. But the day belongs to the Tony Kart Racing Team and Tom Luye. Super victory. And Senna Van Wallstein may have missed the first round, but he's back on the podium in P2. Tom Luye wins it for the Tony Kart Racing Team and La France. Senna Van Wallstein P2. Christian Cannibal Bertuka still leading the championship on 149 points over Tom Luye on 119, courtesy of his third place here today. Chalenta, Slater, Thomas Hamburg. Superb drive off screen from Matteo Bigano, who came from way back on the back of the grid. He passed 18 carts in 16 laps to finish seventh from Piccini, Scriven, and a recovery for Giuseppe Palomba, who picks up a point going into his home race at Sarno in two weeks' time. Tom wins from pole position for the Tony Kart Racing Team. Stay with us on WSK.IT and also on Motorsport TV, the KZ2 podium, live from Francia Corta in just a moment.